talk about you and the Lions then. Yeah. All right, because you've lost enough now that you have to go into managing. Is that correct? Am I, say, am I saying that correct? I'm above 500 if you do my uh, tag team and singles matches together. Emma's a loser. Uh, you know, she was biased. Um, you know, the only she only likes like this dope Roca and his buddy the pizza guy and like whoever else. Talking she about, you're talking about Matt Nose, sir. Yeah, a respected guy. competitor. He's okay. He'll, he's gonna get what's coming to him on uh, June whatever. Tom Dagnino is just a terrible person. He um, is. He is. He is an awful, despicable human being. And you see what he did in the beginning to Emma Fife, where he locked her in a closet. We finally found her. Um, she she is okay now. She's o she's, she's okay. She's right? doing fine. Okay. She's angry. What I said at the very end of the match. Yes. You okay. suspended. Them. I suspended. Them. Um, Dagnino and Hancock. I did. I suspended them at the end, but what I'm going to do with the suspension. Uh -huh. Dagnino's got a match against, uh, against Matt Nose coming up. Okay. And that is a, that is a big match. Um, right. I am suspending the Lions' den from that match. I mean, I don't know what the suspension is, but that's bullshit, too. Obviously, because well, well, I want to see yeah. you're playing Nost. You're playing Nost. Let's see how you do without your teammates. You're yeah. so good. I don't need my teammates to do that. All right, great. I'm so they're not going to be around. So, so they're, not, you're, they're not allowed then. And let's see what Nost does. I bet she kicks the shit out of you. How about that? Well, I mean, hey, there's going to be something up with it because obviously my teammates aren't there. Yeah. That's like a force. All right. If you think that I'm worried about, you know, Dagnino Phineas over there, I am not worried at all. That's okay. fine. Just I, all I all I want from him is. To wash that beard at least at least a week beforehand, because that thing stinks to yeah. no end. I need to beat this guy, silly. Bottom line, you're a loser. Christian Harlow. And I'm John Campia. John, man, this is something here. The collision really put out a lot of storylines. And as we see, the, the stinking Lions then, they are on top and they've done despicable things. And as you saw in the collision, that I saw what Tom Dagnino had done to our own Emma Fife. And I said, that's it. You're suspended. And I had a conversation with him. What we agreed on is that none of those Lions Den is going to come out with him today. He's on his own, and he's got to battle up against the former team champion, Mighty Matt Nost. Well, you know, I think it was the great Julius Caesar that first said, if you can't win yourself, manage others who can. <laughs> and I believe he was prophetically speaking about Tom Dagnino, also known as, on some occasions, Finstock. And I think that a lot of that could have been very warranted, but then you see what Tom Dagnino did against the wild man, Josh McCuga. He was up six points. Oh, no, granted, he blew it. He didn't win it, but he put up a fight, a lot closer. People were saying that Makuga was going to knock him out. It was going to be an absolute obliteration, and it was anything but that. He showed he does know some things. And Matt Nose had had a rough start in the singles. He was started out 0-2, but then his last match he beat RB3. He's 1-2. A win against Tom Dynino puts him in a chance to get into the ultimate schmodown and get a chance to really elevate his singles career. And boy, does he want to beat Tom Dagnino. He, do, he, he calls it, I mean, Dagnino's been calling him the pizza guy, and is so really going <laughs> after him. But, da, but, but Nost is not bad on that microphone. He's calling Tom right out. They were really going at it, and I'll show you a little bit right now. Well, here we are facing up against the Lions Den once again. The Lions Den, who just added Burnett. Whatever. That turncoat. Exactly. Enjoy him. He fled. A badass team yeah. enjoying those assholes. I think it's funny that Bibiani and Burnett, after they both lost a couple of times, all of a sudden leave yeah. the four horsemen. Yeah. What's the matter? Can't handle the pressure of trying to make you winners, and then you run off to a stable that's already winning? You run off on your own that's already winning? That's bullshit. I'm here by myself for a reason unbeknownst to anybody. Apparently, something happened to Emma, and, and people are blaming me. I don't... Well, I don't know what to say about that because it wasn't me. Clearly, it's, it's Cobster or somebody. Who I'm facing today is the lesser Jimmy Hart of this league. The guy just runs his mouth. That's all he knows how to do. Actually, here's my impression of Tom in an interview. Uh, so uh, you're asking me a question over there, and I'm talking to the wall. The guy's brilliant. The guy's brilliant. You know what else I love about him? He has a beard costume for his beard. That's a metaphor, right? 
This guy consistently shows loser behavior. LB, if you will. He's one and two, and I don't even know the person he beat first. I don't even think he's even in the league anymore, whoever he beat. I think it was like one of JT's cousins or something like that. Finstock. I feel bad for what I'm about to do to you. This is going to be just an absolute murdering, the decimation. Your corpse is just going to be sitting on that stage once I'm finished with you. We're going to throw that beard in the trash where it, where it deserves to be. Because guess what? Those of you at home, I wish he had smell vision because his real beard stinks just like he does. It's terrible. You can smell him 10 feet before you see him. You're like, uh-uh, uh, Phineas is here. Mm-hmm. It's the worst. And you're going down today, all right? So adios, uh, Phineas, and adios to everybody else. Listen, pizza guy. You've been showing loser behavior for the last six months. Um, your team and faction is in the basement squandering another loser behavior move. And bottom line, you're a loser. As you see, obviously, Roka is there supporting Matt Nose, talking about how the, the basically what you said, too. He's, he's just a mouthpiece. He's got nothing else except that. And then Dagnino making, has dough in his hands and then money in the other. I mean, the guy's a character. Well, you know, the funny thing is Matt Nose has actually been really making a strong showing for himself in a couple of losses lately, particularly in the team division. He's been showing up very strong, very par- powerful. A couple of his losses in singles division, t- too, was... Well, let's just say he got some tough draws in there at the same time. And of course, Tom Dagnito has made a career out of shocking people, whether it's in front of the camera or at that table. Remember what happened with John Schnepp, yep. which a lot of people thought was going to be a cakewalk for Schnepp, and we see what happens there. This could be an interesting match. You make a great point about Nost. Nost right now is, is, is quietly on fire. He played great against myself and, and Mark Ellis. He had the much better game in that match against the Patriots than even John Roca did. And yeah, John Roca said strong. it himself. Matt Nose was the strong player in that game. No, uh, Roca was the one who had the, the struggle. So if we see that Matt Nose, I think it's going to be a tough night for Dagnino. We're going to see what we're going to find out. It's all going to happen when we get into that third round. All right, the tail of the tape. There you go. Very similar strengths here. Obviously, both of them strong in 80s movies, sports movies. Matt Nose, great at talking to people. And you see Dagnino easily scaring people just by looking looking at them. All right, so here we go, guys. Are you ready to go, John? I'm ready to go. Then let's get ready to Schmoda! <laughs> Introducing first. Representing the Lions Den with a record of zero wins, one defeat. He is the manager of the this Lions the Den, end. Tricky. Booze. He loves the booze. And he's, uh, he's got a lot of loser behavior. His trademark thing there, loser behavior. Now, of course, you know, Tom is never lacking in a couple things. He's never lacking in something kind of smart-ass to say, but he's also never lacking in confidence, and that carries you a long way in the Schmodown. Very Jack true. He's got, he's got that hat on that has kind of served for his replacement for that beard <laughs> since it was retired all those months ago. <clears throat> Keep on talking, guys. And his opponent. Representing the Horsemen with a record of one win, two defeats. He is the 2015 Ultimate Schmodown semifinalist and the former movie trivia Schmodown team champion, Mighty Matt No! There's Roka. Roka coming yeah. out with them there. Yeah. They're still showing the four. They're still showing the four. Will they have those new two team members? We don't know, John. It's just the two of them. It started with the two of them, and they're back to just the two. You know, I was talking about before the match, and the one thing, he feels he's got something to prove. He feels like he's got to make a statement at this match, and he wants to make it against Tom Dagnino. Well, we're going to see, and there's been a lot of bad blood here, a lot of Twitter wars, a lot of things. They're not even looking at it, one another. Shouldn't uh, there only be two fingers up? Is there four horsemen? There's only two. Uh, you know, Tom Nino making the dig that he stole Burnett, obviously. Yeah. And no, it's not even acknowledged. It's all right. Hey, look, I'm taking an insult from a guy drinking a Mick Ultra. <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sure there's a tampon stir in there as well. So enjoy, buddy. Parking lot. All righty, all right. So right away, we start here. Nost and Dagnino going at it. Round number one is going to work like this. Competitors are going to get eight questions worth one point apiece. They're going to show the board to the camera and say it at the same time. 15 seconds to answer the JTE rule, meaning you can only ask to repeat the question three times during the match. There's also the challenge rule. If they don't like the way a particular ruling is called, they can challenge. If it's overturned, they keep their challenge. If not, they will lose it. If they have either one of the competitors gets eight questions right in the first round, they will get a bonus question worth one point apiece. Matt Nost, are you ready to go? Let's do it. Tom Dagnino, ready to go. I want another dry erase marker. This one's been used a lot. Is that is that true? I mean, it looks it. I, I like I like a sharper point. But is it not working? I, I don't know. Try it out and tell me if it works. I guess it's okay. Then let's get ready to schmoon All right, here we go. Round number one in the category of action adventure. Ooh. In which Fast and Furious movie did it appear that Michelle Rodriguez's character Letty had died? We just need the number of the movie. Hmm. I wonder if Tom Agnino knows who Michelle Rodriguez is. I'm not sure. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Matt knows. Fast six. That's incorrect. Tom. Three. Incorrect. Looking for four. Four. Shit. Four, so they both missed there. All right. All right, guys, your next question comes to you in the category of sports films. Who played the legendary Jackie Robinson in 2013's 42? Oh, damn it. Both something. Can't, I don't think they got the name. But we're going to see this. Whether or not they can hit it, sports movies is their strength. Five, four, three, two, one. Tom. Chaswick Bons Bonsman? What is it? What are you, say what are you saying? Ch Hold on. Chaswick Bo Bossman? That's incorrect. Nothing. Chadwick Bozeman is the answer. Chadwick, Chadwick Bozeman. Bozeman. That's what I have. B O S M A N. You have, you have Kazakh Bossman. <laughs> Kazakh Bossman. Kaz I said Chaz. I said you, Chadwick. You said, you said nothing that made sense Bosman, to anyone except yourself. Name, right? No, absolutely not. Do you want to challenge? Do you want to challenge that? Is B O S M A N spelt right? No. Okay. All right. So Ch Chazik Bosman is going to be playing nothing. <laughs> Wait, what's the answer? Chadwick Bozeman. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. Do you want to? Do you, <laughs> okay. I, I, can I okay, that's close enough to me. <laughs> can I tell you this? Can I tell you? I dare you to challenge it. No, I'm not going to challenge, but I mean, still. All right. Chadwick Bozeman is the same thing. It's nothing close to the same. If, 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 if Jason Inman can't get Eva, you're not getting Chazik Bosman. Okay, you're going you're gonna to hear this on the, on the YouTube channel. I'm sure we sure. are. All right, here we go. Next category. Category of animated. What comedian voices the parrot, Yago in Aladdin? Which comedian? One of the great all-time animated films. It, it, the, it was not Chazik Bosman. No, it was not. Chazikok Bosman. <laughs> Five. Or however he spelt it. Four, three, two, one, Nost. Gilbert Gottfried. That's correct. Uh, no, Tom, I got nothing. You got nothing. Who'd you have? I'm John curious. John Leguizamo. Oh, all right. No, <laughs> all right. Matt Nost here. one nothing over Tom Dagnino. Tom Dagnino playing exactly how we thought he would when he played against Makuga. All um, right, guys. Uh, we move on. To your fourth question. This one comes to you in the category of directors. Who was the director of the 2014 film Whiplash? Whiplash. It's a movie that put a lot of people on, on the map, really. I mean, J.K. Rowling had been around a long time. Especially this particular person. Did I say J.K. Rowling? <laughs> <laughs> you did. You did. You did, but I, let, but I was going to let it go. It's one of those days. Five, four, three, two, one. Tom, what wrong answer did you put? Uh, no, it's, this, it's the guy who did La La Land, Damien Cassell, right? What, what is it? Damien Cassell. I mean, how is it spelled? How yeah, do you let, spell it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's when is spelling the big deal here. How did you, how did, I'm saying you pronounce? his name is Damien Cassell. But Cassell, Cassell, whatever his name is. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. K-A-C-A-S-I-L. I don't know. I, I know the guy. He knows the guy. I'm going to go ahead and give him the point on that. Nost. No, I'm giving him the point what, on what, it. The, what? What's the no, guy's name? Nost. Hold on a sec. I couldn't pull it. Damien Chazelle is the name. He said it's the guy from the guy who directed La La Land. He knew the answer. Hold on. So we're going to. Okay. 
So you, I can I don't have to know the answer. I can just dodge around can, and be like he did because I could have said Black Panther. You, you can challenge you, if you wish. You can challenge it. Matt. I'll challenge that. All right, he's gonna challenge. Okay. All right, so the judges have confirmed. Matt Nost made the challenge there because we gave Tom Dagnino the point. The judges have conferred, and Matt Nost is going to win the challenge, and we will not be giving Tom Dagnino the point for Damien Kazil. It's um, not my fault. These guys have stupid names that are hard to pronounce. All right, so there you go. So Matt Nost Damien not Chiselle, losing his challenge. Chiselle. Matt Nost still has his challenge there. one nothing. Damien Kazil and Chazik Bosman will be doing a concert <laughs> later on tonight. All right, here we go. Next, said uh, Chadwick Bosman. It's the same name. No, you didn't. All right. You should Chazwick. In the categories of new release, who played the title character in 2017's King Arthur, Legend of the Sword? Who played the title character? I'm very, very curious to find out what name is going to happen to <laughs> pop out. The Tom looks rattled. He, he, he looks like the last couple of months have, have, yeah. have rattled him. Well, the lions that are nowhere to be seen. He doesn't have that support no. system. And he's ch but he's channeling his inner JTE. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Matt. Charlie Hunnam. That's correct. And Charlie Hunnam. Correct. Sons of. Let me see that. Yeah, it's just Charlie Hunnam. He said he's said, wrote Charlie okay, Hunnam. Right, yeah. Charlie Hunnam. Okay, there we go. 2-1. 2-1. 2-1 there. We and it got... took us to our fifth question to have both competitors answer <laughs> the question correctly. Here. All right, here we go. I told you this, this pen's t terrible. All right. All right. <laughs> the pen is terrible. All right, and the next category. All right, guys. Terrible pen. Your next question comes to you in the category of fantasy sci-fi. The word parlay is used in order to stop a fight and talk things out in what Disney adventure film? Going. Matt's flying with the yep. pen. He, thinks, he seems to think he knows. Five, four, Matt writing three, a short novel. Two, one, pens down. Tom. Flubber. Incorrect. <laughs> Tom, I mean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Correct. Pirates For one Car point. Pirates of the Caribbean. That's that's correct. Yeah. All right. Next question in the category. Oh, wait. Next category of horror slash thriller. Horror slash thriller. In what city does the primary action take place in Cloverfield? Cloverfield? Yeah, Cloverfield. What city? Yes. What city? Matt Nost out to starting to take a little bit of a lead here. Three to one on Dagnino, who you're right, is very rattled right now. He wants to put a little bit of distance between him and Tom before they get into the second round because you never know what's going to happen with the wheel. It's very true. Five, four, three, two, one. Tom. New York? Correct. Correct. Matt. New York City. That's correct. correct. All right, so Matt Nost four. Dagnino at least stop, stops the bleeding a little bit by getting that point. Should be 4-4 four, four right now. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, your final question Simple. in round number Simple one. Cheating. Comes to you in the category of comedy. In what 1997 comedy do British steelworkers form a male stripper act? British steelworkers form a male stripper act. 97, you said? Correct. Five. Form a male stripper act. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Matt knows. The full Monty. For one point, Tom. Magic Mike. Incorrect. 5-2. Nost with a three-point lead here. Nost started off weak, but five points. That's pretty yep. good. Matt Nost had a strong comeback in the end of round number one, only really missing three. All right, so here we go, round number two. It's going to work like this. The competitors are going to spin the wheel. If it lands on category they do not like, they can spin again unless it lands on opponent's choice, of course. Each question is worth two points apiece. Four questions. If they go to multiple choice, one point. You can steal from your opponent in this round. 15 seconds to answer each question. Matt knows you're up 5-2. Would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first. All right, give it a good spin. All right, he wants to see if he can put a lot of distance between him yeah, and Tom. Yeah, he's trying to beat Tom up here. He, are you, you can see the knockout look. You know, he doesn't just want to win this no, match. He wants, he wants to, to knock, knock him, him out. out. Yeah, you can tell. All right, here it goes. And we're going to land on, what's it coming up to? Uh-oh. 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 It's going to be coming of age movies. We're going to spin that we're again. Spin All it right, again. moving off coming of age. To avoid the, 
spin, and there we, there we go. Well, I think we know now where Tom Dagnino is going to go if he gets an opponent's choice. Maybe. Well, I don't know. He's probably going to want to get something he can score some points. That was steal. A dry erase. They both have the same two points. Two points. So there we go. What are we landing on here? It's going past it. Oh, oh. So we're land on oh, gonna, 90s. 90s movies. That's all right for Nost, I think. 90s so movies should be okay. All right. Pretty good at 90s. All right, here we go. 90s movies for the former team champion right now. 90s movies. All right, Matt Nost, your first question in 90s movies. Who played Harrison Ford's love interest, Kay Chandler, in the 1999 film Random Hearts? Ooh, multiple choice. A, Kelly Lynch. B, Miranda Richardson. C, Kristen Scott Thomas. D, Mary Elizabeth Mastrantonio. Never heard of this film. Random Hearts? Random Hearts. Random Hearts. Uh, Five, four, three, two. D. Incorrect. Shh. It's incorrect. Uh, can I hear the choices? <laughs> <laughs> a, Kelly Lynch. That's what I was going to pick. Ke Kel I love her. A, Kelly Lynch. B, Miranda Richardson. C, Kristen Scott Thomas. D, Mary Elizabeth Mastron. Uh, a. Incorrect. Kristen Scott Thomas was the answer oh, there. The that? All right, your question Have you number ever heard two. Of that movie? I've heard of it, but it's. I thought Mary Elizabeth Baxter Antonio was, was in it. Here but we I go. I think she's in every movie. All right, 90s movies. Which actor played the character of Mumbles in 1990s Dick Tracy? Oh, uh, Dustin Hoffman. For two points. Two points. Two points. Making up that miss on the first one. Yeah, well done. Uh, what is the name of the head elf in 1994's The Santa Claus? Go ahead and give me the multiple choice. These is are tough it questions. I'm not gonna lie. A. Bernard. B. Larry. C. Judy. D. Ruth. Bernard. A. That is correct. correct. Nice by Matt Nose there. Your final question here. Who directed the 1995 thriller Outbreak? Ooh. Multiple choice. Is it A. Wolfgang Peterson? D. Jean de Bont? C, Kevin Reynolds. D, Ron Howard. B. That's incorrect. The answer is A. That is correct. correct. Tom Dynino with a big steal a big there. Steal there. Tom needed nice. that steal. Okay, so now Tom Dynino is up. He needs a big round two here, or he's going to have to go into round three down a lot of points. Tom, give it a good spin. Can I bring a special guest in the spin for me, or is that not allowed? Who's your special guest? Oh, I forgot. No. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go. <laughs> big spin. <laughs> There you go. There we go. That's a spin. The most successful you know, thing he's done today. If it lands on opponent's choice, I'm going to laugh. Oh! Spinner's, <laughs> Spinner's choice. choice. Spinner's choice. Doesn't matter anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you, what are you going to pick? Spinner's choice. This is the best possible thing that could have happened. To Tom <laughs> I think right you should here. choose to spin again. That's what I think you should do. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to go with sport movies. Sport movies. I mean, I got sports to. I'm an idiot if I don't. Sports movies. I mean, I beat, I beat Schnepp with that, you know. All right. <laughs> Tom. Your first question in your self-selected sports category. In the film Invictus, which team does South Africa beat in the cup final? Um, I think I know what it is, but I got to go multiple choice. All right, is it A, England, B, France, C, New Zealand, D, Australia? Uh, a, England. Incorrect, chance for a steal. C, New Zealand? Correct, Correct for, one, for point. one point. Big steal there. Big steal. Stupid. That was a really stupid movie. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible movie. Made oh. no sense. <laughs> All right. About the great Nelson Mandela. Doesn't make any sense, I guess. Your next question in the category of sports. The 1995 family film, The Big Green, centers around what sport? Who wrote these questions? <laughs> Seriously. Listen, the last time I did sports, I got a Kenny Rogers sports movie. I knew that one. Five. Though. Did you? Yeah. Four. Three. Repeat the question. The 1995 family film, The Big Green, centers around what sport? God damn it. Multiple choice. Is it A, football, B, soccer, C, field hockey, D, baseball? A. It's incorrect. Going over to Matt for a possible steal. I'm going to say D for Boston. Incorrect. Well, we were looking for soccer. 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 
Soccer is was the answer. Okay. okay. That's fair. In the movie Days of Thunder, what is the name of Cole Trickle's teammate slash rival played by Kerry Elwes? Uh, multiple choice immediately. Oh, come on. Come on. Is it A, Rick Wilson, B, Randy Warden, C, Russ Wheeler, D, Rowdy Burns? C. That's correct <laughs> for one point. All right, your last question here. What a here. joke. All right, so Tom's got one last question here in the world of sports. He needs to at least try to get one point here. Sports are too wide open. What an idiot. All right, Tom, your final Everybody question. Your final question in the category of sports. What is the subject of director Stacy Peralta's documentary, Riding Giants? Does anybody else fucking know that question? <laughs> Riding Giants. Well, it's not. It's not set in the prehistoric. Five, she's not riding dinosaurs. Four, uh, three. You know, two. I'm just gonna say horses. Incorrect. Chance for a steal. I've never heard of it either. You're not alone. Um, five, four, three, two. Football. No, we were looking for surfing. 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 Oh, sorry. That that huge surfing documentary we missed. All right. Did so saw that? Who saw that? 9-4 here. 9-4. All right. So Tom got absolutely, I think he got two points. I'm in big trouble. Two points. He's in big trouble here. Got to have a big third round. Third round is usually where he's been terrible. So we'll see what's going to happen here as we get into round number three. The competitors will pick three numbers from 1 to 20. First one's worth two points. Second one is worth three, and the final one will be worth five points. Matt Nost, you are up. Please pick three numbers from one to 20. Um, three, six, and 10. Three, six, and 10. And Tom? 16, 17, 18. 16, 17, 18. Tom Dineen is going to go first, and Matt Nost is on the verge of a TKO here, and I know the horseman would love that if that was the case. So Tom Dineen question was from category number 16. Tom, you are trying to avoid the knockout here in the category of directors. Directors. What was Judd Apatow's directorial debut? Hmm. Uh, super bad? That is incorrect. The 40-year-old virgin is what we were looking for. The 40-year-old virgin and Tom missed that. Now he needs to hit his three-pointer here. Three-pointer which was number 17. Three-pointer in the world of comedy comedy all right tom what film stars leslie nielsen as agent wd-40 <laughs> uh wait a minute five four three uh repeat two. question again is it oh is it oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been doing this a while oh i know the answer <laughs> doing it a while the answer is spy hard that is correct. That is correct. All right. So Tom Dagnino is down to this. If he hits his five, it will be 12-9, and Matt Nost will have to answer some questions here. All right, here is the category. It is number 18. It is action adventure. Action adventure. John C. McGinley plays FBI agent Ben Harp, and Tom Sizemore has a small role as a DE agent Dietz in what 1991 Action flick. John C. McGinley. And wait a minute. 1991. Five. Uh, repeat the question again. This is final one. John C. McGinley plays FBI agent Ben Harp, and Tom Sizemore has a small role as DE agent Dietz in what 1991 action flick? True Romance. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Mighty Matt Nose. The answer was Point Break. Point Break was the answer. The horsemen are back on top here, beating. Dagnino just walked out of the studio at this point. Tom Dagnino just walked out very upset. Very upset there. You have the horsemen back on top. You're not, maybe, look. 
Matt knows didn't get a chance to answer the three, so he probably could have gotten some more well, points Well, he had on 10 the board. potential points in the third round that he never even had to answer. Correct. It could have been 19-7 at the end. We don't know, but it isn't. It is 9-7. It was a bit of an ugly match, but it mostly was ugly because Dagnino was horrendous in this match. I mean, look, for whether it comes from his JTE, he's hanging around, the JTEism rubs off on him, he can't pronounce his name right. You know, and you know, you feel bad for him, actually. You, you get spinner's choice. You select what you think is going to be your strong suit, and it just happens it, to be all questions. You just work. can't hit out of the park. No, but one of the best moments maybe ever in the showdown was him bobbling that the whiteboard. <laughs> so I'm, I'm he very... He was shaking. He was rattled. He, he, I, that's the most rattled I've ever seen him. And I think not having the Lions then here, I think the fact he's... I mean, he is... He is. I can see him visibly stomping around right now. I've never seen such a rattled Tom Dagnino. He's upset. He's angry. I've never seen an angry Tom Dagnino. This is... Losing to the Horseman definitely, definitely was something he did not want to do. Now, we're going to throw back to Emma Fife. But I'm, Grace Hancock, who somehow was able to get herself back into the interview and will be back interviewing Tom, here we go. What's up, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans? Emma Fife here with today's victor, Matt Nost. And uh, looks like John Roca's here as well. Yeah. How's it going, Roca? Hi, Emma. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. Good. It's nice to see you. You too, actually. It's very nice to see you. I'm very happy to be standing next that to you. That was him. so pleasant, guys. I know. We're building bridges it's here. True. This is it's nice. It's true. Yeah. And I am just thrilled to be standing next to a victorious Matt Nose today because... Thank you. You guys, the lion's den has really been a thorn in your side as of late. So Please. you must be feeling pretty good. The kitten club can go away. All right? We don't need to hear any more about them. We got rid of the mouthpiece. Slowly by surely, we'll pick off all the competitors and they'll all be gone. And we don't have to hear from these idiots ever again. All right, I like that. Talking a big game. Was there ever a moment today where you were even a little bit concerned about Tom Dagnino? Once he spun Spinner's Choice and chose sports movies, I'm like, okay, this is where it's going to get interesting. And then point break, uh, I knew. So I was like, please don't get this. Please don't get this. Because then it just matches over at that point. So yeah. those two were the two stress points. Sure. Yeah. Beyond but, that, no, no, I had no worries. But you came back. I mean, you TKO'd him. You didn't even have to get into your final questions. No, it's the beauty of being up. That's awesome. Well, uh, again, I'm so happy that you won today. And now you have got a chance to potentially be in the Ultimate Schmodown. So who's next for you? Who are you, who are you going up fighting? I'm not sure. I, I'm, I'm sure I need to have a, probably another match under my belt to qualify for you know for that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see who's up there. We'll talk to the old commish. See what he's got in the hopper for as far as plans. I have no idea. I'm on a need-to-know basis, and that's basically a couple weeks out, and you're taking on so-and-so. No problem. Perfect. Well, I hope that this, uh, this upward trend continues for who remains of the horsemen. So what, what is, what's going on there now, guys? Well, listen, we, we got rid of some dead weight, mm -hmm. some, a lot of dead weight, let's be honest, and we decided we we're going to get lean and mean. We're going to find ourselves some competitors who can actually win their matches and can actually contend for titles. And that's what we do. We want winners, not people that lose two or three straight. We want winners. And that's what we're going after here. Might not be the four horsemen, might be something bigger, but it's going to be better than what we put together before. We're going to take all the belts, like we said, all the belts, all the records. You watch. Do I never? I always do what I say I'm going to do, and it always happens. By some point, in the next few months, we are going to have all the belts within our stable, our new stable. I guarantee that. Like Joe Namath, I guarantee it. Well, and unfortunately, right now, the Lion's Den still owns that team title, Absolutely. those Patriots. So yeah. what's going on? Are you, are you taking them on again sometime soon? Are you going after Robert Meyer Burnett, who's turned on us now? Well, listen, I'm studying for the Inner Geekdom Tournament, so I'm absolutely going to take on Robert Meyer Burnett at some point in the future. I will destroy him and his, his supposed Star Trek knowledge. And this idea of we've got an Ultimate Showdown Tournament coming up, if something happens in a certain way, who knows? They could be fighting for the belt. We could be going for the championship. Tag team championship. Listen, I owe Matt Nost a better game than I gave him in the finals. You saw what he did to Tom Dagnino, whatever he wants to call himself this Phineas. week. Phineas. Phineas. Phineas and Ferb. Yep. We beat the crap out of that dude, and now we're going to keep beating him one by one. Why? Because we're coming back. What we do best is go after things, and that's where we're at right now. Why don't we just have a pronunciation contest between yeah. me and you and Tom and JTE and just wipe them out once and for all? Do that yeah. in spelling and be like, done, guys. Back to second grade with you. you can yeah. Billy Madison, it. once you get through all the grades, you can come back and play with the big boys. It's embarrassing these illiterate fools are champions. I like that. Spelling and pronunciation off between, uh, well. Anyway, <laughs> pick two horsemen. They all look like they can't do it anyway. Pardon me, two former horsemen. Two former, uh, from the Kitten Club. Take any two from the Kitten Club. That's fine. We'll take them on. 
All right. Well, I look forward to uh, seeing you guys take down the Kitten Club sometime in the future. And now over to those criminals, Tom Dagnino and Grace, whatever her name is. Thanks so much, Emma. Try not to get locked at any more closets. Guys, I'm here with the real winner, Tom Dagnino, the lion's den. Here we are. Okay. We were set up for failure from the top of this. You couldn't have any teammates walk out with you. Yep. We couldn't do any intros with you. I couldn't even spin yep. the wheel for you. It's like yep. you were against us from the first second of this game. Well, what else is new? Right, Whoopity what else is new? Whoopity damn do, we get cheated Whoopity again. Whoopity damn do, <laughs> damn right. You know, you know what? <sighs> it started from the beginning. The dry erase marker that I had right. was not even sharp at all. It looked like somebody, like Cody was eating it or something. Next thing you know, I get it, and then I can't spell the words right, and it's, everything is mumbled, and they do challenges, and I lose. Right, just because it, it's it, illegible because you had a shitty marker. Exactly, you saw it. I did. Yeah, listen, my penmanship is amazing. It's Immaculate great. when I have a pointed marker that works. Let's get some real markers here and stop cheating me. Right, it's just like, how how many times are we going to go up with this with Christian? Just hating on us, Listen, I told bending you. questions. And what were those sports? None of those sports films were sports the films. The big wave, what the, hell was the that giant round? ride, uh, uh, some other one. I mean, who knows these things? They're not even sports movies. Where's the real sports movies? Right. Like football and like Invictus. Nobody watches soccer in America anymore. <laughs> well, they never even really did anyway. Morgan right. Freeman, he should have been playing, what, he played a president in again? Who cares? Nobody cares. You know cares. what? This is making me crazy. Um, it was, I, it, it's huh. making me crazy, too. You know, okay, this so whole thing, I'm getting cheated in life right now. You know, outside of life. Oh, God, here we go. You know, look, what's this clown doing here? And another one? Uh, okay. You move your hand. Oh, no, I'll hold it. There's no need for you to. Let a real woman step hey, in. Hey, hey, hey. Let a real woman step in. A real woman step in. Whoa, 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 whoa. In movies. Come on, Miss Movies. Get you have proven Hold one on important thing. Do not thing. lose that mic. <laughs> you might want to lose that face. You have proven one important thing here today. You are terrible at the showdown. Because I was awful. cheated. You are I was horrible, cheated. horrendous, and 97 other synonyms I can think of that you couldn't comprehend in that little pea brain of yours. There was no you, sport questions. There was no what? There was a bunch of questions that you didn't I even know. I got cheated Period. you this is not reading rainbow this is not remedial english this is the movie trivia showdown which you really don't belong in i'm it's really sad that you had to drag her into this however hmm. however spikes be quiet now <laughs> this is what i want to say to you how about we'll give you one little chance of redemption what's Maybe. fake sharon up to well, you staring at the camera <laughs> and since you want to call her fake how about she beats you and proves she's realer than you'll ever be oh i even thought i was gonna that, play you even with that army surplus hat on you can play me and i'll play you like a violin i got this you can nom. play me and i'll play you like a fiddle you can play me and i'll play you like seven rounds of chess with one arm tied behind my back and a blindfold over my eye but you don't want to do that so what's going to happen All right, is Bobby this, Fisher. whether she wins or loses against mike kalinowski how about you take on miss movies and you get beaten like another baby so grace can rock you to sleep because that's the only way you two have anything going grace you can sit there and keep smiling and look like harley quinn stuck in the face seven times over for three issues of bad man but what you might want to do is put that hat on and you and the lion's den can go meow, 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 and purr somewhere else this interview is done mm, wow um well, now that they're gone, the sex. Well, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So, what do you have now to say that they're about gone, that? the sexiness has just went back up. I mean, okay, listen. I definitely have a lot of spit on my face. I don't yeah. feel that sexy. Let me tell you. You know what Jimmy Washington is saying is that <laughs> I don't know who he's running. I, it, what has he got? Who's he got over there? Miss Movie. She didn't say one word. She she's didn't say get, one word. She's going to get destroyed by Jimmy woman. Kalinowski. Good to know. I'll play her anytime, anywhere. Excellent. As long as I don't get cheated. I don't like well, the way he yeah. treated you. We might have to put up JT against Washington. I, that was a lot. You know, he's always come off as such a nice guy. I was yeah, quite he's surprised. always hooting and hollering in the back, running into walls, doing his thing, you know, hooting All right, and hollering. So you're, so you're going to take on Miss Movies? Fake Sharon? Fake yeah, of course Sharon. I'll play her. No, let's get out of here. And All right, let's get, get out of here. Let's get a drink or spend something. Spend my money. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Well, obviously, you see a very elated, uh, you know, horseman there, Nost and Roca 
rubbing it, rubbing it in the face of, uh, you know, of, of Tom Dagnino. And then how about Miss Movies popping in there for saying that after her Kalinowski match, win or lose, she wants Dagnino next. I think she just was chomping at the bit to see what happened here. And I think she'll be just salivating at this at this point. Yeah. But, you know, this is important for Matt Nose. He didn't just want the win. I had the feeling that just a win wasn't going to satisfy him. He wanted a knockout or a TKO. Got and it. he came in and he got it. And you know he's riding really high right now. He definitely is. I mean, look, he is now 2-2. Two and two, And he's got a chance here. He's probably just a qualifying match. Or depending on how the rankings shape up by the time this, this tournament gets into play, Matt Nose could be a 15, 16, 14, 15, 16 seed and get a chance to really do some damage in this tournament if the right questions go his way. And it's all going to be about that. Now, the question's got to be, like, this, besides, you know, Bree at this point, what does Tom Dag Nino do now? What is next for Tom? Where does he go from here? How does he navigate his way through this right now? Because you got to think within that stable over there, he's just lost a little bit of shine. Well, I think the fact that his managing skills haven't, but I think that his, you know, his playing skills, yeah, they didn't. He that beautiful performance that he had against Maguga has been washed away from this. Yeah. Um, and when you when you look at this. He, he, if he, I, I personally think he should stay away from Brienne. I think Brienne will probably not come out in the second round. But we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. Whether or not he accepts the challenge, we don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I would say he plays one more match, if anything, and then he just sticks to managing those lines. Then. Well, you know, what? no matter what happens this match, there's one thing I can absolutely guarantee you and guarantee everybody at home: to Tom Dagnito, the absolute number one competitor in the movie trivia showdown is still Tom Dagnino, and we'll just see what happens from here. <laughs> All right, guys, so make sure that you comment here, like, what do you think Tom Dagnino should do? Should he c just quit altogether? Should he keep on managing the lines then? What should he do? Go ahead and comment, or should he play Miss Movies, whether or not she wins or loses against Mike Kalinowski coming up here next week. For John Campia, I'm Christian Harloff. We'll see you next time. Oh, there's Josh McCougar. I don't even <laughs> Why am I even doing a fantasy update post this? This final score was 9-7. My nephew, he's five. He could score more points. My niece, she's eight. Both of them together fighting would have a better score than 9-7. Cody versus the ghost of Cody would have a better score of 9-7. to seven. Tom Dagnino has proven, bottom line, he is a loser. If you had him in your fantasy league, you scored three and a half points. Three and a half points. That's like... That's three and a half points. It's absolutely horrendous. Matt Nost, good guy, crooked pinky. He only scores nine points. Maybe if he goes into the third round, uh, he scores a few more. But at the end of the day, nine points is not enough to get it done in fantasy. Some people score 20 points and lose, and that's still more points when it's cut in half in fantasy. If you have them, hold on to him if you're desperate. But look, here's my advice. Look into some team matches. Some of these high scoring team members are splitting off into the singles and really shining bright, like critically acclaimed. Like, you know, some of the, stay awake. Oh, this sorry. is a just really fantasy boring. update. Sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus, do you see what you did, Tom? Do you see what you did to, wake up. God, sorry, God. Sorry for slapping you so hard. It's okay. That was a little mean, I, I, I apologize. I are you okay? Up. Yeah, I'm good. That's Josh McCuga. He's Josh McCuga too. The sequel. We'll see you next time. Movie Trivia Schmodown. Fantasy Update. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.